Our remarkable planet, 10 facts you never knew, welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into some of the most fascinating and lesser known facts about our incredible planet, Earth. From the air we breathe to the ground beneath our feet, Earth is a world of wonders, full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. Prepare to be amazed as we journey through time and space, exploring the hidden marvels that make our planet so unique. Stay tuned, because you won't want to miss these. Our journey begins with a simple question. What is the shape of Earth? Many would say a sphere, and they wouldn't be entirely wrong. But the truth, as always, is a bit more nuanced. Our planet is not a perfect sphere, but rather an oblate spheroid. Imagine a grapefruit, slightly squashed at the top and bottom, bulging ever so slightly at its equator. The Earth's rotation generates a centrifugal force, pushing outward, particularly at the equator where the rotational speed is highest. This force causes the equator to bulge and the poles to flatten, giving Earth its unique shape. It affects everything from our planet's gravitational pull, which is slightly weaker at the equator, to the distribution of sunlight and heat across the globe. So, the next time you glance at a globe, remember it's a simplified representation of a much more complex and fascinating reality. The Earth, our home, is a dynamic, ever-changing sphere, its shape a testament to the powerful forces that have shaped it over billions of years. Our perception of time is intimately linked to the Earth's rotation. Each sunrise and sunset marks a day, a constant and unchanging cycle, or so we might think. In reality, the Earth's rotation is not constant at all. It's slowing down, albeit very gradually. Millions of years ago, a day on Earth was significantly shorter than our current 24 hours. Scientists studying ancient coral reefs have found evidence of more days in a year in the distant past. The primary culprit behind this slowing rotation is the moon's gravitational pull. These tides create friction that ever so slightly slows down the Earth's rotation. While the effect is minuscule, a few milliseconds per century, over millions of years, these milliseconds add up. We often take for granted the air we breathe, this invisible elixir that sustains life. Earth's atmosphere is a delicate shield, a balanced cocktail of gases making our planet habitable. About 78% is nitrogen. Oxygen makes up around 21%. The remaining 1%, though small, is crucial. Trace gases like argon, carbon dioxide and neon contribute to Earth's balance. This intricate balance of gases is a testament to the interconnectedness of life. Beneath the Earth's crust, hidden from our view, lies a hidden world of intense heat and pressure, a place where rock flows like liquid and temperatures rival the surface of the sun. This is the Earth's core, a sphere of iron and nickel divided into two distinct layers, the outer core and the inner core. The outer core, a liquid layer of molten iron and nickel, is a place of constant motion. It's this churning molten metal that generates Earth's magnetic field, a protective shield that deflects harmful radiation from the sun and allows life to flourish on our planet. Deep within the Earth, at the very center of our planet, lies the inner core. Here, under unimaginable pressure, iron is squeezed so tightly that it becomes solid. Despite temperatures reaching a staggering 9,932 degrees Fahrenheit, or 5,500 degrees Celsius, the intense heat within the Earth drives plate tectonics, the movement of the Earth's crust which shapes continents, creates mountains, and triggers earthquakes and volcanoes. We often think of life as existing above ground, in the lush forests, vast oceans, and soaring skies. But beneath our feet lies a hidden world teeming with life, a metropolis of microorganisms that rivals the diversity of any rainforest. 
This is the soil, the thin layer of earth that supports all terrestrial life. Pick up a handful of soil and hold it in your hand. It may seem like simple dirt, but within that handful exists a universe of life. Billions upon billions of bacteria, fungi, algae and other microorganisms call this soil home. In fact, there are more living organisms in a single teaspoon of soil than there are people on Earth. These microorganisms are not just passive inhabitants, they are the engine that drives life on land. They break down organic matter, releasing nutrients back into the soil for plants to use. The soil is a living, breathing ecosystem, a testament to the interconnectedness of life and the vital role that even the smallest organisms play in maintaining the delicate balance of our planet. Every planet in our solar system, except one, bears the name of a Roman or Greek god. Jupiter, the king of the gods, Mars, the god of war, Venus, the goddess of love. Yet our planet, the pale blue dot we call home, stands apart with a name that seems almost ordinary, Earth. The name Earth has its roots in Old English and Germanic words Eorta and Eartha, both simply meaning ground or soil. It's a humble name for a celestial body, a name that reflects our ancestors' close connection to the land, the source of life and sustenance. For much of human existence, we were unaware that Earth was even a planet. It wasn't until the 16th century, with the Copernican Revolution, that the idea of Earth as a planet orbiting the sun began to take hold. We rely on compasses to guide us, their needles pointing steadfastly towards magnetic north. But what if I told you that magnetic north is not a fixed point, that the Earth's magnetic field, this invisible shield that protects us from harmful radiation, is constantly on the move? The Earth's magnetic field is generated by the movement of molten iron in the Earth's outer core. This churning liquid metal creates electric currents that in turn generate a magnetic field that extends far out into space, forming what we call the magnetosphere. But the flow of iron in the core is not constant. It shifts and changes over time. And so too does the Earth's magnetic field. In fact, over the past century, Magnetic North has moved over 600 miles or 1,100 kilometers from northern Canada towards Siberia. Scientists have found evidence that the Earth's magnetic field has reversed hundreds of times throughout its history, with the magnetic North and South Poles swapping places. From space, Earth appears as a vibrant blue marble a testament to the vast oceans that cover over 70% of our planet's surface. Water is the lifeblood of our planet, essential for all known forms of life. Yet despite this abundance of water, we face a paradox, a world awash in water, yet parched for more. The vast majority of Earth's water, about 96.5%, is salt water found in our oceans. This leaves a mere three and a half percent as fresh water, the water we rely on for drinking, agriculture and industry. Over two thirds of it is locked away in glaciers, ice caps and permanent snow cover, primarily in Greenland and Antarctica. Another significant portion is groundwater stored in underground aquifers. This leaves less than one percent of Earth's total water readily available for human use, found in rivers, lakes, and easily accessible aquifers. Off the coast of Australia lies a world of vibrant color and teeming life. This is the Great Barrier Reef, the largest living structure on Earth, a testament to nature's power to create beauty and biodiversity. Stretching over 1,400 miles or 2,300 kilometers, the Great Barrier Reef is home to an astounding array of life. Built by tiny coral polyps secreting calcium carbonate, creating intricate and colorful structures. These reefs provide food, shelter and breeding grounds for countless marine organisms. But this natural wonder is facing unprecedented threats. 
Climate change is warming ocean waters, causing coral bleaching, leaving them vulnerable to disease and death. Fire, a primal force of nature that has shaped landscapes and civilizations for millennia, is a phenomenon unique to Earth. No other known planet in our solar system can sustain fire, making it a defining characteristic of our planet. The existence of fire on Earth depends on a delicate balance of three key ingredients, oxygen, fuel and heat. Our atmosphere, with its 21% oxygen content, provides the perfect oxidizing agent to support combustion. Fuel, in the form of trees, grasses and other organic matter, is abundant across Earth's surface, providing the necessary combustible material. And heat, from sources like lightning strikes, volcanic eruptions or even human activity, provides the spark that ignites the reaction. Fire has played a crucial role in shaping Earth's ecosystems, influencing plant evolution, nutrient cycling, and even the composition of the atmosphere itself. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed learning these amazing facts about Earth, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more incredible content. From the depths of its core to the highest peaks of its mountains, Earth is a planet full of wonders, constantly revealing new secrets and inspiring awe and wonder in all who take the time to explore its mysteries. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep marveling at the extraordinary planet we call home. See you next time.